This is the maneuvers section from lesson 6, find and replace. First, open the document Aurora formatted. Make sure the cursor is at the top of the document and that it's in print layout view. Select find from the editing group on the home tab, editing group, find, and that will open the navigation panel. We can perform simple searches using the search document box. So if we entered the word northern, the instances of the word northern are immediately all highlighted. Let's take the word light. And at that point, any instances of the word light will be clearly highlighted. But to search for special characters or special formatting, click the down arrow to the right of the search document box just after the cross and select advanced find from the list of options. This will then give the find and replace dialog box. Select the find tab in the dialog box, which we have, and then click the more button to reveal search options. If we click special, from the list displayed, we can select paragraph markup at the top there. Now what you should notice at that stage is the up arrow, then P, which appears in the find what box. Click find next. It will find the next paragraph mark. And if we keep pressing find next, it will find each subsequent one until we get to the end of the document at which point it will give us a pop-up saying we've finished searching the document. At that point, press OK. So now we've searched for paragraph marks, let's look for any manual page breaks. So click the special button again, and this time find manual page break. As before, oh, you'll see it changes to up arrow and an M to, to signify a manual page break. At that point, press Find Next. It'll find the first of them, which is actually just behind this window. It's the end of the page. And press Find Next again, and it's got to the end of the document because there were only two pages anyway. When you finish this, delete the up arrow M in the Find What box. If we wish to find a paragraph that's been justified, click the Format button, then select Paragraph, and from Alignment, select Justified. Click OK. Let's move this out of the way. Find Next, and it finds the first of the paragraphs that has been justified. If we then do Find Next, we've got to the end of the document, so clearly there was only one paragraph that was justified. To clear the justified selection, click the No Formatting button in the Find and Replace dialog box. When we do this, it will get rid of the fact that it's looking for justified paragraphs. Now, let's search for text of a particular colour. Now just before I do this, let's press Control and reduce the size of this because what we're going to be doing is looking for some red text. So now at least you can see it on the screen. So what we do is select Format, Font, and if we want to find the red text in the document, click the drop-down list for font colour and choose red from the standard colours, then click OK. Find Next, it selects the red text. Find Next again, and we find there isn't any more red text. We've finished searching the document. So now let's see how to replace all red text with blue text. Click the Replace tab. We've already got the Find What as font color red. 
what we want to do now is to go into the replace with section and now as before format font and this time the color we want to change it to blue so we've got the searching for red font and replacing it with blue font find next it's found it replace it it's replaced it as you can see the red text is now blue as before to remove the search criteria place the cursor in the find what box and click the no formatting button and then do the same with the replace with box again press the no formatting button so the selections for formatting are now completely disregarded special characters and editing marks can also be replaced using the find and replace feature so this time what we're going to do is replace any manual page breaks with paragraph marks now just so we can see I'm going to make this a little bit smaller again okay we can see that we have the first page and then there's a page break which takes it through to the second page what we're going to be doing is replacing the page break with a paragraph break so as a result this text will appear further up towards the bottom of this page again make sure that you're in print layout so that you'll be able to clearly see the effects of the change okay so to do this with the cursor in the find what box click special and select manual page break in the replace with special paragraph mark find next so as you can see it's taken away the page break and replaced it with a paragraph 